Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you had a lovely day so far, if not, let me help to make it better. Because today, I will help you to find and activate the most recently found easter eggs in Battlefield 2042, found by the Battlefield easter egg community. I will also put some links into the video description down below, in case you want to check it out later on or if you want to dive into the discussion yourself. But first, let me give you a brief overview about what you can expect. All in all, you can earn two new player cards as well as two new skins. The first for the Super 500 shotgun, the other one for the CAV brawler. But apart from the unlocks, there is also another, you could call it extra, because the last easter egg allows you to call in a tornado and by this I do not mean this outdated European fighter jet, no I mean a real tornado, the force of nature which reminds me a little bit of Just Cause 4 in case you played it. So nothing special, regular Tuesday. With this set, let us begin. Before we start with the actual easter eggs, there are a few things you should definitely know about to make it work. First of all, it's only possible to unlock everything I mentioned before if you go over all easter eggs in a specific order. And you also have to activate them on different maps and also here you have to stick to a specific order. Also it was mentioned that you should equip Lasco otherwise it doesn't work. Generally it should work on any multiplayer server but to make sure that nobody there is faster than you it's better to use your own portal server. However the server mentioned on Twitter doesn't work unfortunately, at least not when I tried it out, so I created a new one for you which you can host on your own. In case you're new to Battlefield 2042 and if you have no idea how to host a server in Battlefield Portal, here's a quick summary. In your Battlefield 2042 main menu you can select Portal and next you can select Host. Afterwards there will be a tab with the description experience code which you want to select and here you can enter the following experience code. After doing so it will show you a template version of the server I created for you. All in all you can leave it as it is but after hosting it will be visible in the public server browser for anyone else so anyone else could join as well. But in case you don't want to get disturbed you could also set a server password beforehand. Next, you only have to click host and wait until it's loaded. The team size is by default set to 64 players. So in case you want to help some of your friends with the easter egg, they could also join your server. The map rotation includes all required maps in the correct order. By default, the round time is set to 45 minutes, so you should have more than enough time to find all the easter eggs. Otherwise, you could also restart the map by selecting admin in your start menu and here you can select restart map. Alright, with this set, let's go over to the first easter egg locations. After activating these easter eggs, you will be rewarded with the following player card. For this, you have to find two locations on the map discarded. As mentioned before, you have to equip Blasco as specialist. Both locations are relatively far away from your spawn. So to speed things up, best hop into your favorite aircraft and fly over there. The first location is relatively close to objective B. After landing, move over to the container which you can see here on the map. Now kick in the door and to your right under the bed, there is the first beacon. Before interacting with it, it says contact Blasco. You can hear a message from Blasco. Unfortunately, I'm not that familiar with the Battlefield 2042 lore so I can't tell you exactly what it is about, but I can tell you where the next location is. The second one is somewhere between objective A1 and B1 and it's not very far away from the first location. Here it is hidden in some of the cover which has been added with the rework of Discarded. The exact location you can see here on the map. Once there you will find a Battlefield 3 style beacon which you can activate as well. After activating you will hear another message and afterwards there will be something like a morse code. Immediately afterwards you will be rewarded with the first player card. And that's all there is to say about discarded. So now you can go over to the next map. For this you can again select admin in your start menu. There is an option called next map. After pressing this you will go over to the next map in the rotation, where you can find the second easter egg locations. After finding and activating those, you will be rewarded with another player card. 
as before, there will be two easter egg locations, but now on the map Flashpoint. But as a difference, these will be a little bit harder to reach. Again, equip Lasko as specialist before you move over to the first location. This one is on the other side of the map, close to objective G1. So again, best pick your favorite aircraft so you get there faster. But you will also need an aircraft to get to the second location, so you kill two birds with one stone. On the other side of the map, there is a larger number of solar panels. And somewhere on top of one of these panels, there is some intel hidden which you have to activate. Which panel exactly this is, you can see here on the map. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too high to reach it by jumping. But since you probably equipped Blasco, you could either set up your spawn beacon or your X6 infiltration device as close as possible to the panel. So if you try to jump over it, instead you will be able to stand on top of it. Like this, you could jump high enough to reach the intel. After doing so, you will hear another message from Blasco. And now you could also activate the easter egg at the second location. This one is roughly in the middle of the map, close to objective C1. As I mentioned before, this one is a little bit harder to reach, so best pick an aircraft. So after hovering over objective C1, you could jump out and glide down with your parachute. The exact location you can see here on the map. Again, you will find a Battlefield 3 style beacon, which you could activate. After doing so, you will hear another message and you will also get your reward, the second player card. And that's already it for Flashpoint. Again, you can go over to the next map by selecting Admin in your start menu and selecting Next Map. Now let's go over to the third and last easter egg locations, which will reward you with two skins, the first for the Super 500 shotgun, the second one for the CAV brawler. Here you have to find three different locations instead of two, this time on the map Renewal, but in exchange these are easier to find and faster to reach. And another difference is that this time you have to activate satellite dishes. Satellite dishes similar to those you had to activate for the cruise missile easter egg on Spearhead. And I have to say this got me pretty excited because maybe there will be something similar to the cruise missile or maybe another cruise missile. And apparently I was right. But more about this later. So back to the current easter egg. All locations are relatively far away from each other, so to speed things up, best hop into your favorite aircraft and fly over there. First location you can see here on the map. After activating, you will hear another message from Blasco, and afterwards it looks like there is something like a signal being transmitted from the satellite dish. However, now we can move over to the second location. This one you can find here on the map. So it's close to objective B1 on top of the gatehouse. You could either land on top of it, or you could also pull yourself up with one of the winches on the side. And again, activate the satellite dish. This time there will be no message at all, but at least it unlocks the last satellite dish at the third location. This one you can find here on the map. It's relatively close to objective A1, and also your spawn. After reaching the location on the hill, get out of your vehicle and blow it up. That's not important for the easter egg at all, but it's important for me, I simply love explosions. Jokes aside, again activate the satellite dish and afterwards you will get your rewards. The skins for the Super 500 and the CAV brawler. There will be also a last message from Blasco. Something like, it worked. But what worked? While thinking about it, I got interrupted by a spectacular view in front of me, because there was a slowly growing tornado not very far away and I realized what Blasco meant in her last message. This is not an extreme weather event. This only happens after activating the last beacon. So the tornado, that was us. And this somehow reminded me of Just Cause 4 where you also had these kind of tornado reactors built by the government. But that's just a side note, maybe some important things to know about the tornado itself. It starts close to objective C1 and also moves over this objective and afterwards it moves out of the playable area. So if you play a match later on and you see this happening, better keep some distance to this objective area. But I'm not perfectly sure if you could get all the rewards also with other specialists, since I only tried it out with Blasco. But in case it worked for you with another specialist, let me know in the comments. That's about it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and to never miss out on similar videos.
You guys are the best and I will see you on the battlefield.